If you look at the topographical map of Taiwan, you'll find a cluster of mountain ranges occupying the central and eastern regions of the island. And at the very heart of it lies a destination that is unlike any other in Taiwan, the misty and mysterious Alicia. Hi, we are Vince and Josh. Before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you get notified when we upload new travel videos. How to get there because Taiwan is a small island with an efficient transportation network, it's easy to get to Alishan from any of the major airports. From any of these airports, all you need to do is make your way to the nearest TRA or THSR station to catch a train to Chai City. If Alishan is just a side trip, you can also easily reach Alishan from Taipei, Taichung, or Kaohsiung city centers. Just proceed to a TRA or THSR station and board a train to Chai City which is the jump off point to Alishan. So, may isa kaming stop before kami makarating ng Alishan. So, ang stop na yun is sa May Chai. So, ganito guys. Kasi kami, nagbook kami ng super early na tickets. 6 a.m. yung train namin papunta ng Chai. Ang bukas ng train station is 6 a.m. So, if ever, kagaya namin, nagbook kayo na sobrang aga ng mga train tickets, may dalawa kayong option para kunin yung mga tickets na yun. Number one is, uh, day before yung trip ninyo, pumunta na kayo ng train station, kuha ninyo yung mga tickets. Or number two option ninyo is, pumunta kayo ng convenience store na 7-Eleven, and then doon yung kunin yung tickets. May mga machine doon para kinabukasan hindi na kayo mahassle or hindi na na kayo pumunta ng train station. See na lang sa Alisan. From Chai City, you can reach Alisan by bus or by train. But what we recommend is the train. It's not the fastest option, but this route will allow you to experience the Alishan Express, a vintage train widely regarded as one of the wonders of the region. How to book Alishan Express tickets Alishan Express makes only one trip on weekdays and two on weekends and holidays, which means limited seats. It's best to reserve in advance online. We have a step-by-step -step guide on our written blog, www.thepoortraveler.net Or, you can find the link to it on the description. Alishan Express departs from Chai TRA Station. Again, that's TRA, not THSR. Make sure you're at the right station. If you're arriving via THSR, you can simply catch a shuttle bus from Chai THSR Station to TRA Station. How to take the train from Chai to Alishan Note that as of now, Alishan Express doesn't go directly to Alishan because the far end of the rails were damaged by typhoons and have yet to be repaired. Hence, you need to transfer to a bus when you reach Fenchihu Station. Here's how to get to Alishan from Chai. 1. Claim your reserved tickets at Chai TRA Station. Find the Alishan Express ticket window in front of the station, present your reservation number and the passport you used to book, and get your train tickets. 2. Board the train. The Alishan Express boarding area is located at the far end of the first platform, past the police station. Travel time is 2 hours and 21 minutes. So from Chai Station, papunta kami ngayon Fenchihu. 3. Alight at Fenchihu Station. You'll arrive at around 11.30 in time for lunch. While waiting for the bus, you can try Fenchihu's well-known bento boxes. Several restaurants offer this meal, but the most popular is served by Fenchihu Hotel. Ayan guys, so if you're planning to go here from Chai Station, Mga trains lang nila dito is one per day lang, every 9 a.m. and twice naman siya per weekend. So, twice on Saturday and Sunday, tapos one per weekday. Yeah. 4. Catch the bus to Alishan. The bus stop is on the other side of the railway, not on the side of the station. There are only three buses scheduled at 11.30, 12.50, and 2 p.m. Travel time is 1 hour. 
Interpreters, pupunta kami ng Arisan from Stenchi. Who? And yung sasakyan yung bus from here is 7322 and 7329. So yung dalawang bus yung nakalaan yung sasakyan. After an hour, you'll arrive at the terminal at the gate of the Alishan Forest Recreation Area. What to do upon arrival in Alishan? 1. Pay the entrance fee. At the Alishan Bus Terminal Building, where you will be dropped off, find the ticket machines. Admission rate is 150 Taiwan dollars. 2. Enter the park. Once you have the ticket, enter the park through the massive gate. From here, you'll be walking 200 meters to where most activities are. 3. Drop by Alishan Train Station. Even if you don't plan on taking the train that day. Why? Because tickets for tomorrow's sunrise train are sold as early as the day before. Hey, Tipiters! So, nandito na kami sa Alisan! And, yun. Kailan namin lakarin from um, yung bus stop hanggang dito sa Alisan Railway Station para kumuha kami ng ticket para bukas sa sunrise sa viewing namin. So yun, super gana. Lamig. Bagyo sa gada level. <laughs> and because tickets sell out fast, purchase one as soon as you can. The call time for tomorrow's sunrise train journey is also posted at the station. Once you have a ticket, proceed to your hotel. If you're staying at the hotel area, you can simply walk. From the train station, cross the road and go down the staircase. Cross the parking lot and you'll find a small alley with another flight of stairs. Climb down and you'll reach the hotel area. If your hotel offers free transfer, you may be picked up here at the train station. Where to stay? The Alishan National Forest Recreation Area spans 1,400 hectares. But the best place to stay is definitely the main tourist hub which is the area in front of the forest railway station near the gate. From here, Restaurants, shops, convenience stores, the train station, the bus station, and the information center are all within touching distance. Lodging options in Alishan are quite limited, but down the hill is the hotel area where you'll find the highest concentration of accommodations including the following hotels. The hotel area is situated downhill from the train station so climbing back up can be a challenge if you're not that fit. What we did, on our last day, we checked out early and deposited our bags in a locker at the train station before touring so we don't need to go down up again just to check out. Outside the main tourist area, you can find other hotels. One of these is the Alishan House which is perhaps the most well-known property in the area. If you're after a more luxurious experience or celebrating a special occasion, this is something to consider. It's a bit detached but it offers transfers to and from the station. How to get around Before that, let me explain something quickly. Within the Alisha National Forest Recreation Area are four main areas. 1. The main tourist hub the area surrounding Alishan train station and directly after the primary gate. This is where most hotels, restaurants, and shops are located. 2. Chushan, where you can catch the famous Alishan sunrise. 3. Chaoping, where you'll find the Chaoping Park and the Cherry Blossoms Trail and the Sister Pond. 4. Sacred Tree Area, which is scribbled with walking trails that will lead you to Shuzhen Temple, the Shunbao Fude Temple, the Three Generations Tree, the Big Tree, and of course, the Sacred Tree. All of these areas are connected by the scenic Alishan Forest Railway, with Alishan Station as the central point. You can simply ride a train to get from one station to another. The fare to and from Chaoping, the Sacred Tree or Alishan Station, is 100 Taiwan dollars. Fare to or from Chushan is 150 Taiwan dollars. However, the more recommended option is by hiking. Every train station is only 30 minutes to 1 hour on foot from the next station. The walking trails will take you to the points of interest in the area. It's an easy hike if you have no issues physically. This map is a simplified version of the journeys whether by train or by foot. 
Mas na guys, if pupunta tayo ng Sacred Tree galing sa uh, Sunrise View and ayaw nga na maglaad ng matagal <laughs> so bumaba kayo sa Chowpin and doon na na kayo maglaad papuntang Sacred Tree di ba saan na tawag mo doon? Chowpin! <laughs> I recommend the route first Take the train from Alishan to Chushan to catch the sunrise since it may be too dark or too cold for an early morning walk. After dawn, hop back into the train to Chaoping Station and walk all the way to the Sacred Tree Station, stopping at key attractions along the way. Then, catch another train back to Alishan. After the Sacred Tree, pwede kayong sumakay sa station nila. May bababa lang kayo. 500 meters na pababa. Hagdan. Tapos makita niyo itong station nila. Sacred Tree Station. Ang pangalan ng station. What to do? Here are some of the best places to visit and activities to enjoy in Alishan. We'll not discuss the details for now because we'll be creating a separate video about each of these. How to get out of Alishan. After enjoying all the wondrous things that Alishan has to offer, it's time to get out of the scenic area. While there are direct buses connecting Alishan to other key destinations like Taipei, Taichung, or even Sun Moon Lake, the most popular route is by getting back to Chai City and taking the train from there. To get to Chai City, there are two common routes, by direct bus and by taking the bus to Fenchihu and then the train to Chai Yi. But if you've already taken the train coming to Alishan, then we recommend taking the direct bus this time around. It's faster and much cheaper than the train and bus combo. Beware though, the ride can be a bit dizzying. Regular naman yung mga bus schedules dito papunta ng Chai and wala lang actually. 240 per person yung bus fare. And two and a half hour show, bus ride. So, tutulog na lang kami sa bus kasi super pagod namin for two days straight na pulong kami sa tulog actually. So, <sighs> sana makatulog kami kasi medyo zigzag yung, ano, yung daan. Ayoko mahilo. So, sana makatulog. That's all for now. If you need more information about traveling around Taiwan, check out the comprehensive travel guides on our blog www.thepoortraveler.net Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you get notified when we upload new travel videos. We're Vince and Josh. See you again next time and may the goals be with you.